right, hey guys, I'm Roscoe with Moonlit Fly Fishing. We're gonna tie a simple little jig nymph today. It's a biot bodied. Uh, it's about as simple of a nymph as you can tie, really, and it catches fish just about everywhere we go. So let's just give it a shot, see if you like it. Uh, first thing we've got is a size 12 MLO 5.8 by Moonlit with a 3.5 millimeter tungsten bead uh, seated on there. It's a slotted tungsten as well. Uh, dress the hook. Uh, today I'm using uh, 18 knot nano silk from Semperfy fly tying. And I take this all the way just back to the tie end point of the tail, just right to the end of that shank of the hook. Trim that off right there and then uh, we'll put our tailing in. Today the tailing is Coq de Leon medium pardo. I use this color of Coq de Leon for just about everything. Um, for this fly today, going to use four or five fibers of that Coq de Leon and I just pull them straight out from the side of the the, sh the stem of the feather and just take those right off of the shank or off the feather. Now I measure these to the shank length of the hook so there's my shank length then I just pinch all of those fibers between my thumb and forefinger and tie in the tail. Now if it looks like you've gone a little long as long as you just give it a couple of wraps you can kind of adjust that and shorten them up. Uh, my buddy Polly Shirtlift likes to run a, a loop underneath the tail. Kind of helps prop those guys up in the fly. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then tie the rest of those fibers down. Take this all the way back up to the uh, bead here and double over the Coq de Leon back on itself and tie that down. Once you've got that you can just trim off your waist. All right, now we want to put in your ribbing wire. For this fly, I'm using size brush in uh, ultra wire. Color is wine. I really dig all the wine colors of all the fly tying materials, and so far my experience says that the fish do too. I'm just going to drop that wire right down in the slot for the bead and push it to my side of the hook shank. If it rolls over when you tie your thread in, I like to just keep a pair of hemostats around and I'll just pinch that wire and turn it to my side of the hook shank so that it stays put. Now I tie this thing in and keep it sitting parallel to the hook shank all the way back to the tail. Okay, then I'm just going to put that in my material clip and let my bobbin hang for a second. Now I'm going to prepare my biot. The uh, biot I'm using for the body is uh, Nature's Spirit uh, Stripped Wild Turkey Barred Biot in Calabatus color. Uh, it's going to come looking like this. Just peel one of those guys off of the stem there. And you want to tie it in. There's a natural curve to these guys and I like to tie them in so that that curve is facing away from me. Give that a couple of turns with your nano silk. And I actually like to let this biot just roll under and sit against the hook point there and then I'll tie the rest of it off. Now at this point, if you're really concerned about building too much of a taper on the body, this is where you do it. I don't with this particular fly because I feel like the biot wraps better with a less bulk on the shank of the hook. <clears throat> and I also think that the biot itself has a general taper that makes that look right. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little super glue to the thread and wire package there so that this biot will stay stuck down when I wrap it. If you're not using the Gorilla Glue with the brush applicator, you're missing out. It makes this really good. Okay, <clears throat> this is where it takes light hands, and it's usually also where I screw up a fly, so bear with me. If we break a biot, we'll just tie it back in and start over. Uh, grip the biot at this root end with my hackle pliers. And you can use the rotary feature if you have it on your vise. Uh, when I'm tying biots in, I usually don't use the rotary feature just because I have a little bit more control. You just want to wrap that biot forward now, letting it give that natural segmentation. You're only going to get four or five wraps before you have to trap that thread. And just go ahead and trap the thread. And it's okay if that's a little bunched up looking right now because it's going to get covered up with your thorax so don't stress that. And after I've got a few wraps of thread I pull pretty tight on this nano silk and then I just tear that biot right out of place. Okay <clears throat> so now you can kind of clean up that where you've bound that down. Now you bring your rib wire forward. First one I kind of do a little loose so that I don't press those tail out of the whack. 
and then I just follow up right behind each of those raised segments on the bayette. And then you can tie your wire off. Do a couple of wraps of thread behind and in front. And then I just use my flush cut pliers to come in and nip that guy off as close as I can. Okay, now we got to put our little wing case and our thorax in. And really this is, I think, the key to this bug being so fishy is this little bit of Mirage tinsel. It's opal colored Mirage tinsel and it is size medium. Now I tie in a little bit of a long section of this just so that it stays in my material clip easier. Pin that where you want it. Double over the little tag end and tie it down. Then I take that larger piece, put it in the material clip, and try not to mess anything else up, but come up here and trim off that waste end of the Mirage. Okay, now a little bit of wax on your thread, and then we're going to use the uh, Remix dubbing in Golden Olive. This is one of my very favorite colors of this stuff. Pretty awesome. Remix Volume 2. If you're uh, looking for that dubbing, you need to hit up Doug Clow on Instagram. <clears throat> His handle is DC Ohio. He's a stud. He makes these custom batch uh, squirrel dubbings. You've got to get on the waiting list though because it's really primo stuff. Uh, just dub my uh, thread with a little bit of that. You can see the flash, the squirrel, it's all kinds of buggy goodness. Spread that out a little bit better. All right. Now, this thorax only has to be big enough just to give that Mirage tinsel a little bit of a bump. That's about all you need right there. And just pull that Mirage tinsel over the top, trap it with your thread, give it a couple of turns in front of that. And then I kind of try to just bounce my thread and snug that in and it'll pull that and seat it down in between that slot and the bead. Then I take a little bit of that scissor and knock that guy off of there. And you're about done. Now we just need to do a whip finish, but I like to try and bury this little tag end of that Mirage tinsel with the dubbing. So that'll give that strength on the fly a little bit and it'll take a little bit of the pressure off that tinsel when the nano silk, because it'll cut it if you're not careful. Okay, so now that we've got that dubbed again, just a little bit of dubbing to tie that, or to bind that mirage tinsel in. And you take the bulk or the extra off of there and whip finish. Usually do two whip finishes just because. Nick that off. Okay, there you go. Simple little biop body jig nymph with a squirrel dubbed thorax, and you can catch fish just about anywhere with that. Thank mm -hmm. you.